when people approach you within your organization maybe and ask you, listen up, I want to start with a service design or I want to become a better service designer. What is the single most important tip you would give them? Probably just start. Uh, and I mean, this is, a, this is a question that comes from my team. My, my team is mostly digital right now. We've got some service design projects starting up. But for those who are not coming from that background and are focused on different types of work, uh, they're wondering, yeah, how, how do I how do I immediately do this? And in general, you're probably not going to stop everything you're doing now and suddenly go into full-blown service design. So you have to find ways to weave in probably some of the tools and, and I think journey maps and blueprints are a good way to do that. Even if you're working on a individual touch point, it can, it can provide context that allows you to make better decisions and it can allow you a way to start thinking in that end to end and broader, broader way, but bringing in an aspect of service design that uh, might not be threatening to what you currently do, uh, but also gets other people seeing the value of that kind of thinking and might be the catalyst to more and more deeper engagement into the world of service design. Start and start small. Start small. Yeah, start and start small. Nice.